There's nothing like the sound of a Ferrari 250 motor. Ferrari made uh, four 250 series class convertible cars. The 250 short and the 250 long wheelbase California Spiders. They made a 250 Series 1 Cabriolet, and then the, the final version was the 250 Series 2 Cabriolet. There are very rare occasions where there actually is a car that has been sitting around that is in original patina condition that can be preserved. And those are the holy grail cars. We're talking about one of 200 of these early 250 open Ferraris. These are really rare cars to begin with. And to have one that only has 5,200 original kilometers on it, which is roughly 3,000 original miles from new, there likely isn't another one of these on the planet. The fact that it had a few little issues early on, the owner appreciated what his car was and just parked it and left it. And that's really what saved the car because it had been in inside storage its entire life. doing a preservation car, you're taking what is already there and trying to bring it back to the furthest possible level you can go without throwing that away. It's a really slow, painstaking process. You don't really get to tell the car what you're going to do to the car. The car really is telling you where it can go. Where I started originally on the car was with its paint because that's the first thing everybody's gonna see. So the paint was old and faded and just dull, and it was lightly scratched, and it was just a dull, old-looking paint job. I just methodically massaged the paint, hand polished, and brought it up to the luster that it is today. One of the other areas were the wheels. We hand polished those wheels, and I spent, and my help, spent about three weeks doing the five wheels for the car, but they are the original wheels. Everything in the engine compartment is original except for a few hoses and a few belts and some things that you have to do, but it is the original finishes, original plating, original paint. All of that is all as it was when it was first built by Ferrari back in 1961. It just makes you feel really alive to be able to own one of these cars and drive one of these cars. And when they start revving, they just start sounding like nothing you've ever heard. You don't even need a radio. You don't want a radio. You don't want to hear anything. The only thing you want to listen to is that note coming from that exhaust.